This is a Maserati production. Good everybody, this is a Doctor Strange all day. If it gets extreme enough, if it gets extreme enough, <laughs> if it gets extreme enough, your boy just might be stopping at biceps. Alright? But we'll figure that out once we get to that point. Let's get it. So starting off we did um easy bar curls. Super setting, we're super setting right from the jump. We're gonna do, so we're gonna do four sets of 10, and then four sets of 20. So we're super set, four sets of 10, going down in weight, half the weight. I went from 40s to 20s, half the weight, and then four sets of 20. You know, they're both four sets. But like I said, you got an A1 and an A2. And um, basically, we're just gonna get that volume going. This is all volume, straight volume, high reps, um, just straight dogging it right now, right? And um, and like I said, this is going to really get that blood flow to start. I'll, I'll probably just start with it. It's going to get that blood flow to start with the workout. Next, we got preacher curls. Five sets of 10, single arm, all right? Let that extension go all the way down. Let the arm go all the way down. Get that bicep stretch and then fully contract, coming back up. And then, um, you know, continue your you know how to do it. Anyways, continuing on, we're going to do. Straight curls once again, just to get that. This is a I'm so fucked up right now. <laughs> I'm so fucked up right now. I feel like I'm. I, I have a blank mind right now, y'all. To be honest, like I, I feel like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. You need to eat some food. Bro. I need. I need food. I'm. I'm so fucking hungry. It's 6:31. Um, but we start off with uh, the the straight bar, and then we move the drag curls. The reason why is I like drag curls is because it creates that that ball it hits really hits that ball and really gets that hard contraction when you're doing your bicep exercises so uh, it's really good to throw that in the middle of of your routine so once again straight bar cables four sets of 12 and then superset it with drag curls four sets of 24. Straight bar curls, five sets of ten. The fifth set is a drop set to failure. So we're really dominating, really just demolishing those biceps right now. We ended with the drop set to more fatigue it even more, and you're really just having to push through it. So you just got to get into a really good mental state in order to continue on after. Because once that's finished, we're not done.
we go to preacher curls, right? So we have the cable preacher curls, and then we have more of the free weighted pulley preacher curls where you actually have to put the weights on. And we're gonna hit that, that, that lower bicep going into the forearm area. We're gonna hit it fully and then we're gonna extend it more. So we're gonna do 10 full reps and then four, I mean 20 partials. So four sets of 10 full reps and then a, and then an 82 of partials. Just straight, just a small movement. Just And uh, trust me, you'll really feel this. It'll definitely, you'll, you'll, you'll feel finished with these biceps. And you, it feels like this might be like a quick exercise, but it's really not. So, um, you know, if you're taking it, it, it is and it isn't. So I say the rest time should be 45 seconds between each, 30, 30 to 45 seconds between to each set. And then I want to finish off hitting another bubble, which is the shoulders and the front rear delts, lateral delts, for more focus on the lateral delts using the cable lateral um, machine. And the reason why, I mean, let me get this out of the way before I say this. Um, machines are a bit, in a way, superior than free weights because you're having to have a consistent um, resistance, right? If you think about a lateral, let's say, let's say lateral raises, right? Since, since I'm already talking about laterals. When you have a dumbbell, you're not feeling the weight. The gravity hasn't hit you until you're in a horizontal plane with your arm, right? So, you know, you start to feel it once you get about right here. So from a right here and up, this is where you feel it mostly with the, with the dumbbell. When you hit that 90 degrees, when, the, when you create that 90 degrees, that's when you feel it the most. Same thing with the bicep. You feel it the most right here, the 90 degrees. Everything 90 degrees is where you feel it the most in most, most occasions. When you, like even with uh, curls, when you pull it up here, you're starting to bring in your shoulder. So all bicep is right here, now you're bringing in your shoulder. Um, same thing with, with any other movements. So I like the cables more because as soon as you start, as soon as your arm moves, the resistance hits. And that's why I feel like it's a lot better, it's a lot more superior, you get more work out of a machine. I know a lot of people are like, oh, free weights all day, you know what I'm saying? You gotta really think about the resistance in terms of how much tension the exercise creates throughout the whole motion, you know? So when we're, when we're trying to build muscle and we're trying to have equal muscle all around, you want constant tension through the whole motion rather than through uh, certain areas. That's why sometimes I'll do a shoulder exercise and um, I'll start with the cables and then move the dumbbells to really cap out the uh, the lateral head, the medial head. I did, oh my gosh, bro. I did three sets of 16 from the front, right? So I was, face, I was facing the machine and then three sets of 12 backside. So you just did that. Boom, back to back, really non-stop. I just kept going, boom, boom, had a 30 second rest after the first uh, superset, and then back to it again, three times. So, that's the worked out. That's the worked out. The that's the workout. That's the word out? <laughs> oh, bro, I need to eat, I need to eat, I'm, I'm out. I ain't even talking no more, I'm trying to eat.